I'm Jack Myers, and this is the Jack Myers Think Tank, where I share what I'm thinking about and invite you to think about it, too. It's February 11th, 2021, and I've been addicted all day to impeachment trial coverage. I've actually been addicted to the Donald Trump political reality show since he and Melania rode down the escalator at Trump Center. Now the Republicans have not yet defended their case, which makes tonight's Tucker Carlson show on Fox News especially fascinating. For his opening segment tonight, could he not have had something relevant to say about today's impeachment trial? Instead, he chose to comment on an alleged attack on Fox News and on him by Jeff Bezos, The Washington Post, and The New York Times. Nothing else in today's news was worthy of comment? Or was the case made by House impeachment managers so compelling that he simply had nothing to say? Now, I can't wait to tune in to Carlson's show. Those are words I never thought I'd be saying. But I can't wait to tune into his February 12th program to watch his opening comments again. And I'll bet they focus on the Trump attorney's defense. Now, I admit, Carlson's comments held my attention. And here's what I think about his accusation against the Times and Post. Carlson's afraid. Smartmatic's $2.7 billion lawsuit is just the beginning. I predict suits will be filed against far-right news media for knowingly reporting inaccurate facts on both the coronavirus and the election. And these respected and trusted commentators took their marching and reporting orders from Donald Trump. My question is not whether or why the Washington Post's Nick Kristof has been challenging Fox News. It's whether the leaders of our nation's other media companies will end their political caution and take sides in this battle for democracy. Let it be clear where they stand. Did these leaders watch and hear today's case with an open and impartial mind? Because they're also jurors and their decisions are, in many ways, more relevant than the Senate's, with greater long-term impact on the future of our nation. I say this as a practicing media ecologist who's been studying and reporting on media for more than five decades. No matter what the outcome of this trial, historians will look back and study the root causes for this challenge to our democratic foundations, and they'll zero in on media as the root cause and advertising as the see no evil, hear no evil, say no evil, financial underpinning of a media industry that failed America. They'll study and tell the story of social media and an industry that once operated in the public interest, but opted to put profits ahead of truth, justice, and the American way. Is Jeff Bezos this generation's Edward R. Murrow? This generation's Walter Cronkite? Look it up and think about it. I'm Jack Myers, and you can reply on Twitter at Jack Myers Biz. 